one more music song, and I always wondered creatively how you guys came up with this. Well, Monopoly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Woman Monopoly. I'm gonna tell you that record was uh, we every album we attempted to do something that nobody's ever done. This so, right, very different. But but the idea was we we were just sitting around the studio just talking and laughing and joking, and something happened and we started talking about Monopoly. And I was like, yo, that'd be crazy to do a song about Monopoly. And so we were just trying to figure out what the idea was. So uh, me and Music going back and forth laughing, talking about the idea. And I was like, yo, Womanopoly, Womanopoly. That would be crazy, Womanopoly. So uh, when we started writing the record, a lot of people think that's about a girlfriend or something. But the record is actually about my mom and his mom. Oh, wow. So when we started writing the story, we are like, yo, all right, this would be crazy if we could talk about from this level or that level. We was like, yo, but you know what? I don't know all of the pieces on it on a Monopoly game. So we left the studio, we went down to Toys R Us, we bought the Monopoly board, and then we looked at all of the name, park, place, and uh, 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 of course, uh, Vetner, Vetner Baltic Ave, Baltic Ave, uh, yeah, uh, Mar uh, Marvin's Garden, Mediterranean. Mediterranean, so all of those things, all of those places are in the actual record. So we found all of the places, and then we start telling the story of like how our mothers work hard from nothing to make it to something to give us a platform to stand on. So that's where the idea of the song came. And then when we started, we brought the idea up to Ivan. I was like, yo, yo, that'd be crazy. Yo, yo. That's my voice? Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, God, that'd be crazy. <laughs> then he was like, oh man, hey, I'm sorry, let me do this. <laughs> hey, yo, God, that'd be crazy. It's like, now he's like, really. you take you take my concepts. <laughs> so he's like, yo, this joint would be crazy if we started if, if we start the record with shaking dice. And that's what we did. We 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 shook the dice up. You know, Docs, this we got this idea, this record. But man, my fault. I'm doing it wrong. I was like, yo, Docs, <laughs> we got this idea for this incredible record called Whoopinopoly. And um Yo, it's it's gonna be crazy. It's like, yo, for real, yo, yo, you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah Docs, I'm real serious. It's like, nah, yeah. but nah, basically, so you know, I was like, yo, Docs, this song is a crazy idea, and you can kind of pick it up from there. I mean, and um, I'm not really gonna focus so much on that song. I mean, I think I had the track already, right? Actually, I think, no, you built the track around it because you, you, you took the, the shaking of the we, dice. We, we, I was more so going to talk about how we really wanted that to be a single. Oh, we yeah. wanted that to be a video. Yeah. And we wanted that visually. We had like all these concepts for that song visually. Oh, yeah. That we was like, I think we spent more energy talking about what it could have been like oh, and man, trying to sell was, that to the label. As right. A, the as video, video would have been crazy. Yeah, they, we was going to have one little time. bike going across yeah, the show. Yeah. Oh, man, I don't know. It been real crazy. But, uh, but you know what, the, like that whole album, man, I think when we were at creatively on that album, a lot of people were like, what are y'all doing? Right. It was a little weird for people, and I think, you know, music was in a space. We were kind of like riding off of what he was, where he was going, and we was trying to find this balance, but a lot of people didn't get that, that album conceptually, and it's funny, a lot of people that we talk to nowadays, all these new artists always cite uh, Soul Star. As an album that kind of like set the tone for where they ended up going creatively, and it's weird because we we were, we really didn't think that that album was gonna be what it was at that time and what it is like the way it's perceived now. So 